good morning children this is yoga lakshmi your english teacher how are you all i hope you are fine and safe in your home very good last class we have seen about the word power in this word power we have seen around the pond aquatic life aquatic life here uh, across downwards we have some clues with the help of this clues we need to fill the word puzzle okay here this word puzzle regarding to aquatic life i hope you all understand this word power and how to fill this puzzle i hope you all did your worksheets this class we will see where we will see about the grammar for articles with today we are going to see the next topic in your grammar articles articles what's your topic name articles what's your topic name articles okay what is article where we need to use this article actually we want to use this articles before noun where you want to use this before noun okay where you want to use this before noun what are the articles we use three words what are the three words a and b the. these three are called the articles these three are called the articles okay before explaining what is article just to look at these two examples look at them look at the first one i saw a policeman i saw a policeman what does mean by a policeman here i saw a policeman how do you know that? do you know the policeman already no you saw the police you saw a policeman on the road Up, uh, from his appearance you know that he is a policeman okay look at this second example i saw the policeman so you met up you saw the policeman the policeman here the why we mentioned the because you know the policeman already you know the policeman already it's a definite one so articles are two types first one indefinite second one definite okay look at the types of articles now two types of articles what are the two types indefinite article indefinite article and definite article what will come under the indefinite article a and an a and an when we are not sure about a noun we want to use a or an okay when it's not exact when it's not clear when it's not sure when the noun is not exact when the noun is not clear or when the noun is not sure we want to use a or an okay second type definite article that we want to use the for definite articles where we need to use when we are sure about a noun okay when it's exact or clear or sure when we are confident about a noun we want to use that okay tell me now where we need to use articles before noun what are the types of articles how many types two types what are the types indefinite article definite article what we want to use for a indefinite a and an is yes. where we need to use a and an when the noun is not exact or not clear or not sure we want to use a or an definite article second type is definite article definite article the we want to use the where we need to use the when the noun is exact or when the noun is clear when we are confident about the noun we have to use the hmm. can you say which word come under the indefinite article yes you are correct a and am very good where we need to use this when 
the noun is not clear is when the noun is not clear not exact not sure we want to use this good very good now tell me where we need to use definite article which come under the category of definite article is that we want to use that for definite article yes very good so we come to come to know that indefinite articles are not clear and not exact yes uh, definite articles is clear confident and exact one now are you clear with this what is the indefinite and indefinite good we will go with the examples now indefinite articles what what will come under the category of indefinite article a and an a and an is what is indefinite article it do not refer to any particular noun what does it mean by that when the noun is not clear not exact not sure okay we have to use this now we will see the usage of at first are you clear at what does meaning of at at means one what is the meaning of at one 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 it's a singular or plural one is a singular i have a pen a pen that means one pen so it's a singular i have a pen one pen it's a singular when we mention one thing it's a singular yes no here a means yes, one when we need to use this a okay we will see that now before singular countable nouns okay singular noun before singular noun i said before no i have a pen pen it's a countable noun we can count pens pen by using numbers okay one pen one if i have two pen pens i want to mention pens here i have only one pen it's a countable noun okay so singular countable noun before the singular countable noun we want to use a are you clear with this what is singular it indicate only one thing okay what is countable noun noun which we can count by using numbers okay nouns which can be counted that is countable noun singular countable noun before singular countable noun we have to use a this is the first one first rule okay second rule before consonant sound not letter before consonant sound okay what does consonant sound do you know alphabets how many letters are there in the alphabets yeah can be six we can divide this alphabets into two types no what are they consonants vowels yes no what are the vowel letters vowel letters a e i o u these five letters are called vowels is no remaining letters no that's are called the consonants okay so we have to use a before the consonant sound sound here we want to check the sound of the first letter okay here look at the first example look at this read this first sentence read this he is a teacher he is a teacher 
Okay. Here. Here. Which is the naming word here? Did he mention any person here? Yes. Teacher. Teacher is the name of a person. Okay. So what is the first letter in teacher? T. T. Now check the sound of T. It. 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 T. It. We can get the sound it. So it's come under the category of consonant sound. Consonant sound. Before the consonant sound we want to use a. He is a teacher. Another example. Sound. So we want to use before the end 
velocity r if you have any doubt regarding this sound go, uh, take your dictionary and check with this sound okay look at the third one union here also we are getting each sound in silent manner okay beginning beginning of the word we are getting h sound but it's in silent so here also we have to use a a union a union are you clear with this can you understand this shopping now re let's recall this where we want to use a first we will recall from the first okay what are the types of verticals what are the types of verticals two types of verticals first one indefinite vertical yes very good second one definite vertical yeah good what we come under the indefinite vertical a and an yes what is indefinite vertical indefinite vertical so not sure or exact s yes. next one definite vertical what is definite vertical it's clear exact and confident definite articles are clear exact and confident what we want to use for definite article yeah very good that what tell me what is the indefinite article when we do not refer particular noun it's not clear okay we are not clear about that noun so what are the thing what are the words we want to use for indefinite article a and an now we are going to see see we saw only the usage of a what is the meaning of a a mean one one yes what is the first rule can you tell me the first rule we have to use a before singular countable noun singular countable nouns good second rule before the consonant sound yes when the noun give us consonant sounds start start with the consonant sound okay what is the third rule the noun begin with vowel letter but it produce consonant sound we have to use a are you clear with this topic children now we are going to see the usage of an okay and a and an will come under the category of indefinite article we have see the usage of a now we are going to see the usage of an are you clear okay listen here an what is the meaning of a i said no what is the meaning of a one single the same meaning also for an an mean one okay but what is the difference between a and an a we have to use before consonant sound yes no but an we want to use before vowel sound before vowel sound okay now listen here and singular countable noun when we want to use this and before the singular countable noun singular countable noun singular means one countable noun nouns which can be countable by using numbers that is countable noun before singular countable noun we want to use and but what is the important is the noun should start with vowel sound the noun should start with vowel sound what are the vowel letters a a i o u these letters are called vowels okay what is the sound of this a a here a e o a 
Okay. Before these sounds, we want to use and. And. What is the first rule? The usage of and. Before singular countable noun, you have to use this. What is the second rule? Yes. Before the vowel sound. The noun which is start with the vowel sound. Before the vowel sound, we have to use and. Before the vowel sound, we have to use and. It is very good. Look at this example now. What is the first one? First example. And empty cotton. Empty cotton. Here, what is the letter? First letter in empty. E. What is the sound of this? We have to look close for the sound. Okay. What is the sound of this? What is the sound of this letter? A. A. A will come under the category of vowel. It's the vowel sound. So, before the vowel sound, what we want to use? And. Got it? Look at the second example. Oil. And oil. And oil. Here, what is the first letter in oil? O. What is the sound of this letter? We have to check with the sound. What is the sound of this letter? A. Oil. A. A sound. A sound will come under the category of vowel. So, before the vowel sound, we want to use an. Got it? Are you clear with this? Can you tell one more example for this? Look at here. And eraser. And eraser. What is the first letter in eraser? E. Okay. What is the sound of this letter? A. A. A will come under the letter of vowel. So before vowel, we have to use and. Got it? Now we will go with the third rule. Third rule. Listen here carefully. Before words that begin with the silent consonant. Yes. The word start with the consonant letter but it's a silent. It's a silent consonant letter. Okay. So the consonant letter silent means the next letter is a vowel sound will give. So we have to use here and. Before the word start with the silent consonant letter, we have to use and. Look at the examples. And honest man. And honest man. Here, what is the first letter in honest? H. Here. Start with the 
silent consonant letter we have to use an can you tell me where we need to use an the same thing singular countable noun before singular countable noun but here before consonant so we want to use yes no then next to the third rule for usage of a the word will start with the vowel letter but it produce consonant sound here the slight change the word will start with the consonant letter but it produce vowel sound are you clear with this topic children okay we will see the usage of that in the next class complete the given worksheet thank you